Okay, we are in uh, doing some mountain pass math here. Um, what we're firing is we're going to, of course, have to find our range. We're going to use the Pythagorean theorem there. I'm going to tell you to use this x as the height, sorry, the x as the length and the y as the height. So I'm going to plug those in real quick. And so I know those two, so I'm going to write them up in my notes 19.69. And my length is 113.59. Uh, it is a distance, so it doesn't really matter if it's a negative or a positive. Uh, and I'm going to have to use this to solve for the hypotenuse of the triangle that it makes. So what that means is I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So I've got 19.69 uh, squared. I've got this little caret here to the second. That means squared. Equals uh, that. And I'm going to add it to... Uh, one one three point five nine little carrot squared equals. So I know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Uh, to get rid of the square on that though, I'm gonna have to take square root of it. Select square root, and there's my new number. I know this is okay because it is bigger than either of these two numbers. Um, since there's such a difference, it's kind of okay that it's really really close to the larger number. So that's now going to be my range. So 115.2839. So I'm going to use four decimals down there. Now I'm going to have to figure out with this mountain pass problem what equation I have to use. All right. So I've got my range. I'm going to plug that number right there. Uh, what I do need to find is I need to find my firing angle. So I'm going to use this equation here that has the theta on the solved side of the equation. I do have this too, which makes it a little tricky, but we're going to be okay. All right. Other things I know. I do know that gravity is still 9.8 meters per second. I know it's meters per second because we got MS right there. If the MS isn't there, I know I'm going to have to use feet per second, which is 32, but not worried. I do have my initial velocity because it is listed. So that is 41.88. All right. And I am looking for my angle. So let's go out and try to start solving this. Again, this is my cool little Google calculator. So I just typed in uh, calculator into Google and this pops up, which is really nice. It's very handy. Um, so what I'm doing is, let me lower that a little bit. I'm going to start over here. I'm going to go with my G over my X. So I've got G times X, 9.8. And I want to multiply that against my X, which I solved to be 115. 5.2839. All right, it gives me that number. Now I'm going to have to divide it by my initial velocity, and that is squared. So I'm going to divide it here, and I'm going to have my initial velocity squared. I'm actually going to put some parentheses. Most calculators are going to accept the, all calculators are going to accept the exponent, but I need to sort of break it up in my mind, so I'm going to put it in uh, parentheses. So I got 41.88 little carrot to the second. And I'm going to close my parentheses so I know that everything that is above here is now being divided by that value. I'm going to click enter. I have to end up with a number less than one in this situation if I'm going to use my inverse sign. All right. Now if I select inverse sign here, it does sort of plug it in there. And I select it. I get 40. And now I have to get rid of this 2, so I divide both sides by 2, dividing by 2, and it gives me 20.05. I'm going to go over my question, and we'll see if we are in the right ballpark. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, 20.05 or 20.08. Let me click that and select Submit, see if we were good. Do -do. All right, we're rocking. We got that right. All right, keep up the good work.